typical family situation, knee-deep in togetherness. You can always spot the cliches by their trademark, the toothy smile. Mr. Cliché is always tall, handsome, and of course, smiling. Except in insurance commercials, where he grows wistful, thinking of how secure and happy his family will be when he's passed on. All he has to do is pay the premiums. Mrs. Cliché is always found in the kitchen next to her washing machine. Her uniform, shirtwaist dress, half apron, smile. Her husband is an oil rigger for Chesterfield cigarettes. Her problem, stubborn stain. Will her detergent do the job? It always does, in the wonderful world of commercials. Little Susan Cliché is always found at the breakfast table eating cereal. She just never seems to get enough of that crunchy goodness. Well, almost never. Junior Cliché spends his life in the bathroom where you'll find him brushing his teeth, and not sideways the way you and I do, but the right way, up and down. Not too much lather around the mouth, and always smiling. The clichés are pleasant people, pretty much like you and me. Good, middle-class, conventional American folk. <coughs> conventional, but not stuffy. Here are some other members of the cliché family. Meet broad-shouldered Bob Cliché, the he-man, hard-sell announcer. Sometimes in soap commercials known as the uh, presenter. <laughs> Bob's two main attributes a loud voice and controlled thumbs, the kind that never cover the product name. Bob's brother, Dick Cliché, thinks hard sell is for squares. He favors the soft, relaxed sell. Downright mushy, in fact. Fred Cliché, who's in the gasoline business, and begins and ends every commercial with a gasoline attendant salute. There are other members of the Cliché clan. They're almost as numerous as the Kennedys. Here's Dr. Cliché, the authority in white coat. Although, recently, the FTC has put a straitjacket on this kind of presentation. On the cosmetic front, we have lovely Helene Cliché. Her problem? hard to manage hair. But fortunately, a friend told her about glue, the new magic hairspray. Will it work? Thanks to D.W. Griffith, who invented the cut in film, yes. This is not the New York Botanical Gardens, but the bathroom of Zsa Zsa Cliché, who lives in the bathtub. Zsa is a typical young housewife. Uh, and of course, we in the ad business know that the girls in soap commercials actually wear bathing suits. And these things. that's one of the reasons, you know, uh, for all the lather in the bathtub scenes, to cover up the straps of the... Cut, damn it, cut! Not all the clichés are such healthy specimens. There is, unhappily, the sick nephew, Homer Cliché. Homer is unwell in a number of ways. Sometimes it's splitting headache. Sometimes it's upset stomach. But fortunately, there's always a remedy at hand that makes Homer feel better fast. And sometimes Homer is unknowingly offensive. A situation that's so delicate is always handled in commercials with subtlety and good taste. Yes, you'll recognize the cliché family in many situations. You'll know them by the way they lift their beers and toast each other. Again. And again.
again. But never drink. By the way they light and smoke their cigarettes. By the way they drink their coffee. Always smiling. And with all the money from those residuals pouring in, why shouldn't they smile? Every time it rains, it rains. 